Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the show Behind the Scenes of Hell with Dr. Ron. And if you're new here, my name is Ronald, and I talk about everything around healthcare, health tech. I talk about alternative careers, career transition, you know, tips and tricks to other professions. So if that's the kind of content you signed up for, in the right place so hit the subscribe button and um yeah thank you to our returning viewers and subscribers for sticking around sharing the video liking the video commenting all that helps us in what we're doing here so on today's episode i'll be talking about an alternative career healthcare professionals can consider and that is report writing and um, this is something anybody can really get into you know all the time i talk about uh, things a lot of people can get in without or with less friction really and today we'll be talking about report writing who is a report writer what's the day-to-day -day activities or job description look like what are the qualifications what are the skill sets you need and um, what's the salary like and a few tips about the writing process really so you might just want to stick around to the end of this video to get all of that juicy information so let's dive into the conversation so by sort of a way of definition a report writer is somebody who produces very well written and accurate informative reports made out of raw data or information that end users can understand something they can just read and understand without asking a lot of questions. So it's the work of a report writer to do that. Uh, report writers basically work across a lot of departments because they need to get information from so many places in order to be able to do their job effectively. So the report writer typically extracts and collects data according to client or management needs to build customized reports so the reports they produce are usually you know tailored to specific maybe industry skills uh industries or need really so you have to find data that aligns to whatever you're writing about at that point in time and in some cases um report writers also test applications really you analyze statistics and other metrics in addition to sometimes they provide you know training on report writing software so that's basically like what report writing entails so in terms of a day-to-day -day activities uh, if you look at some job descriptions for report writing you see things in the range of um, being able to maintain a working knowledge of the data schema for company files, be able to write queries and create reports to provide data to business units. You should be able to gather and document functional and technical requirements into reporting solutions. You should also be able to perform statistical data analysis, interpret data, results to find patterns and trends and all of that so this is typically what you would see for a job description for a report writer or analyst writer right so in terms of qualification so i'll just talk briefly about the types of reports there are so many types of reports that a report writer does again depending on the specific industry depending on the need right but on a general level you have business reports you have sales reports you have marketing reports you have financial reports you have um operational reports and you have uh, project reports really so these are different types of reports that require different types of data input to be able to produce those reports right so in terms of skill sets and um, qualifications right again for example like i said in the beginning being a doctor you know so a pharmacist does not stop you from getting into the this report writing space but some of the things you're looking to acquire down the line uh both in terms of soft skills and hard skills so for the hard skills you need to be you know quite proficient in doing uh, query writing so that you have to know how to use sql you know how to use tableau or power bi for visualization i'll talk about the importance of that down as i progress you should be able to understand how databases run and you know like i said how to write queries really 
then the Microsoft Office suite of um, applications, you should be very conversant with how to use those things, Word, Excel, PowerPoints, because you're gonna also be doing presentations, you know, emails, uh, using the Outlook, you know. Some of them, some people will tell you they need you to have very advanced Microsoft Excel skills. So that still falls under the MS Office suite of tools, right? Then for specialist report writers, they might be asking you for proficiency in manipulating user fields, doing calculations, how to extract data from databases, then um, ability to read and analyze, interpret the uh, business periodicals, journals, technical things, uh, government documents, and all of that. It's something they, they will want you to know. So it's a skill set worth acquiring. Then on the other side, you, you talk about things like good research skills, good writing skills, ability to pay attention to detail. You should have a very good analytical mindset, uh, ability to manage your time effectively, and very good communication skill so these are like the skill sets and qualifications you might be looking to acquire if you don't have them at the moment so then in terms of the writing process so i just talked briefly about that so there are like basic five steps to writing a report so the first one is to do your research so research involves um, data gathering from different information sources so this is where your research skills comes in handy how are you able to find this information from maybe the internet or databases scattered here and there so you do your research after doing your research the next thing is to do your analysis analysis involves you looking for trends looking for patterns in the data and this is very important because by the time you're able to identify you know trends patterns that will allow you to be able to make recommendations to whoever you're sending that report to by the time you're done with your analysis you now you know do your initial drafts or of the report really you know, this is where you start writing and um, they will typically advise you to put in a lot of graphs, charts, diagrams, because visuals is usually where um, the focus is. There's this popular saying that a picture is worth uh, more than a thousand words or something. So you want to use those things to support whatever you're writing. Then after writing the draft, you go ahead to edit. So basically the function of editing is to make sure there are no errors in your document. You're complying to you know, industry standards or organizational templates in how to write those reports, you know, sticking to those guidelines. And finally, when you're done, you now present your report. So this might be in the way of a formal presentation to maybe a group of stakeholders, you know, senior management or it's going to be a PDF document which you just send to whoever requires it and all of that. So that's usually like the five step approach to writing reports. So where can a report writer work? So again, multiple sectors require report writers. Uh, you talk about the fintech, you talk about that's the banking sector, you talk about the finance, yeah, that's still banks. You talk about healthcare, aviation. You can literally work anywhere because reports are usually required on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, year-to-year basis, depending. And you can work as a freelancer, actually, or you know, full-time in an organization. So um, how much does a report writer earn? So um, in Nigeria, typically, you're looking at a salary of about 157 to 160,000 Naira per month. And um, in the UK, you're looking at an average of about 35,000 pounds per annum, that's yearly. In the US, I think senior writers end up to the rim of maybe 75,000 USD or thereabouts. So that gives you an idea of the range of uh, the salary um, expectations. And in terms of work conditions, yeah, you've got hybrid, you've got fully remote, you've got on-site. So again, it depends on who is um employing you and um, in terms of job satisfaction yeah a lot of them i know are actually happy with what they do and um, in terms of career progression um, you have the chance to you know become a senior writer some people even pivot or transition from being you know 
basic report writers to maybe technical writers or senior report writers. So these are all other avenues you might want to explore. Then again, I just want to mention about the salary expectations. I think sometimes it also depends on your skill set and your expertise. So you could negotiate higher than what the you know, average industry price is at that moment. So I just thought I should mention that for you guys. So that's it for me on becoming a report writer. And just one more thing. Um, for those who usually ask me, how do they get in? So there are tons of courses, report writing on EDX, Coursera, that you can take. Some organizations even organize um, some of these writing classes that you can take to get a grasp of what is expected of you, how to approach this, and how to break into the industry. So you might want to check them out and get started, right? And that's it for me on becoming a report writer. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please uh, put them in the comment section. I'm glad to take any questions or give you feedback on whatever you're writing. And um, in the next episode, I'll be giving you um, some of the tips and tricks on you know, how to become a better report writer. And um, until I see you again in the next episode, I remain your host, Dr. Ron. And please don't leave without subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.